please welcome to Ms. Connie McDaniel. I love you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Love you guys. Feeling connected is a basic human need. That's why the skill of promoting events is so important for you to know, because this is where your team bonds. And human connection grows even stronger when you hear other people's stories. So today, I encourage each of you to embrace your inner storyteller, because I think it's one of the keys to more effective promotion of events. Our whole business is promotion. We promote our products, we promote our business, and we promote events. And before we can get good at it, we really need to have it come from the inside. So let's look at some definitions. Business means giving value to others. And promotion simply means to raise something to greater importance. What is one of the biggest concerns our new members have? I don't want to feel salesy, right? If you remember these two terms, you will never sound salesy because our job is to give value to others. As we look at events, network marketing and events fits who we are at the core. Connections form the foundation of a woman's psyche and our spirit. Women thrive when we are in connection with others. Top earners know this, and that's why we focus on the skill of promotion. Forbes magazine has an amazing article that talks about eye-to-eye, person-to-person stories because it gives a deep, subconscious sense of connection. There's no such thing as a silver bullet, but the skill of promote, promoting comes really close. I believe that superpowers are developed at events. Stories of success add power, magic, inner belief to our new leaders. My motto with my team is events drive your team leaders. Product campaigns build your business. And we all know from the GoPro book, Eric Worre says the professional knows your momentum is tied directly to how many people you have at each event. Top earners know that you can't do epic things with a basic attitude. And as I walked around this room, you can feel the uncrushable attitudes of these women. So how do we get people to invest in attending destination events? It goes back to believing on the inside that our job is to raise the level of importance, and we do that through our stories that we share. So let's look at the storytelling basics for developing our superpower. I want you to know this, that our primal brain remembers things. It causes emotion when we hear stories. If you think back to your high school history class and you had to memorize dates and facts, do you remember them? No. But if the teacher brought those events alive with stories, you do remember your history lesson. So let's look at the six basic points of storytelling. The first thing is speak your truth. You have six seconds to grab someone's attention. So maybe pique their interest with a quote, a question, a cool fact. Also use your personality. 
We do not have to be professional storytellers to do a good job of this. If you think back to your childhood, someone told you the story of the three little pigs, and they told it with passion and enthusiasm. That's what you want to do with your stories. It doesn't matter what it is as long as you have that enthusiasm and passion behind it. Number four, know your audience. You will be talking to your business leaders way different than you talk to a prospect because your prospect doesn't care if you're a double diamond star fleet commander. <laughs> they want to know that you're giving them value and they want to know the importance of that. Also appeal to the emotions. People respond to our success stories, our stories of joy, but they also respond to the stories of pain, of loss, but most of all, how we triumphed over those. And then use connecting language. Most people, we all want to be like most people, right? Or if you're like me, right away we connect each other. Face-to-face, eye-to-eye are the best ways to tell your story. That's why Facebook Live is so popular, video texting, these are all powerful. Th just take pictures of this. These are follow-up posts I did in my business group. So again, the story has already been told, but then I followed up with this. Let's see if I captured your attention in six seconds. I wanted to quit. I was at a moment of tears. I felt stuck. Did I capture your attention? So that's a quick post that might be helpful to you. Another post I did in my business group after telling the story is this, and I want you to focus into the middle. With events, a leader stays, without events, a leader stays within their hometown reality. And then you go in to tell what has happened. As a teacher, my subconscious mind could only see a $50,000 vision for my life. So I had to come to events to get out of that hometown reality and be around people who had a bigger vision than me. And that way I could begin dreaming. <laughs> This one I did on my public page, and I thought it would relate on Women's Day because what do most couples fight about? Free time and money. Guess what? We have the answers, don't we? But what happens with our new leaders, and this is why we have to teach the skill of promotion, because our new leaders, remember, most of them have come from the employee background. They don't know how to promote, so we want to teach them because otherwise they word vomit on everybody and it turns people off. Another thing I see with new leaders is they share their, their company posts, share the post, share the post, share the post, and again, it turns people off. You're going to lose people. So we want to embrace our storyteller and increase the value and increase the importance of why. So this is what I, the last group of new leaders I had, I like to sit them down. And I like to start with local events or medium-sized events so that they learn the skill of promotion. They're going to brainstorm, and I always say we want five touches with your story. How are you going to touch somebody five times? So this is what was, they came up with. So take a picture, but remember, number three, four, and five involve your personal story. That's the most important. We all get objections to coming to events, right? The two that I come across most often is I don't have time. And the reality is people really are busy. But we know if it becomes a priority to them, it becomes more important because we share our stories, then they will find a way. 
as leaders, we need to really take note of how that connection makes a difference. In the book GoPro, professionals hear, when they hear an objection, they don't buy that story. They work to build the meaning and importance behind that event. Another objection I get is people say, I can't afford it. I am on a mission. Stop saying I can't afford it. Our subconscious mind is an obedient servant. It is going to do exactly as you tell it. So you're going to rephrase that. How can I afford it? Then your brain goes to work on solutions. So I want to share, let's have a conversation with our new people. As we go back home now, we want to start planning for next year. We have 12 months to get ready. So let's do a little math problem. You can afford this. Set into motion to earn your own way. Let's say it costs $800 to get here and to stay here. Challenge yourself. How many sales and bonuses do you need to earn? How many income-producing activities are going to go into your calendar? And then put that money away each month so that you have earned your way. Because if you get to these events, your growth, your momentum, and your income is going to surpass anything you invested. Be the example. I just discovered the most powerful woman event, and these were 10 of my leaders last year that were here, and this year we have over 100. Yay, team! <laughs> Events have been important to me during each step of my career growth. In the beginning, I shared with you, I had to get to events to move beyond my own hometown reality. And then you get some success, you get to the top of your company, you're feeling pretty good, and you get to kind of plateau because you get into management mode, right? And so that's when I discovered GoPro event. And I attended GoPro, and I discovered there was such a thing as a million-dollar earner. Then, during one of the darkest times of my life, I discovered the most powerful women, and I'll tell you about that momentarily. But I want to back up a minute. If we think back to the storytelling basics, remember the one where I said people connect to your stories of success and joy, but they also connect to your stories of loss and pain and triumph? Every single person in this audience is going to experience adversity. Unexpected circumstances will hit you. And I want you to remember a motto that I used through many times in my life, and that is this. Adversity is the preparation for greatness. Those unexpected circumstances, thank you, they are coming, and we got to really train ourselves because we have to step into our business even during those dark times. For me, Three years ago, I thought my life was perfect. I had a wonderful family. I have great kids. I, my husband and I traveled. We had so much fun together. We were at the top of our company. And I was literally blindsided by a divorce, only later to find there were other types of deceit. But I was devastated. I didn't know how I was going to stand up. But there's people in this room who stood me up and they encouraged me to get in the game because you have to go to work every day regardless of what's going on in your personal life. But because I showed up, I got to my first most powerful woman event. It was at this event that Marina spoke about woman empowerment. It was at this event that the stories that were shared on stage about triumphs over pain, over disease, over natural disasters, over all those things that we run into, those stories 
hit me, and I was determined to rise again. And the greatest thing is I am not a financial statistic because I built a network marketing business. So I want to give you hope and inspiration. The time is now to build your business. You don't know what's going to happen in the future, but you will not be a statistic if you build it now. The other thing I discovered is pain is a traveling professor. And when we go through those things, it develops a warrior inside of us, a warrior that's more committed, a warrior that's more compassionate, and a warrior that's more determined than ever to affect other people and contribute to this world. So be the example for your team. Be the example for your children. Your thinking creates your future. We have to be at events to be around people that have those uncrushable attitudes, and events will help you discover that. Your superpower is hidden in this subconscious mind. Again, when you study the brain, the primal brain protects us. The, we have protective thinking. Doubt and fear are in there for a purpose. It's to protect us. It's for survival. But that's why it's so important to train our brain. Now, I used to go through, I would read every book. I would go and I would attend events. But if you don't do something with those, those notes, it's not going to change. Zen gave a perfect example yesterday of that. Is the yield sign yellow or red? We have to literally take action to go inside our subconscious and change those old stories. So go in there. One thing that has helped me is I journal. So when I go home, I'm going to take these notes and I'm going to write them in the journal and write reflections. I do that for all of my tools, and I have journals and journals and journals. But we have to train the subconscious mind, not just read about it. A couple of promotion ideas that I can give you. Events are so important to get our team to, but when they're new leaders, they may not have the money for real. Allow them to earn their way. They earn their way by doing income-producing activities, and they can earn dollars towards the event. Take a picture of this, and you can figure out the rest. Another thing that I've done is I've given tickets away for the higher-ranking leaders. And this has, is a way to say thank you for your hard work. Enjoy the event. Another thing that I've learned from GoPro is that if I would you strategy, if I give you a ticket, would you get your hotel and airfare? I've also given away a few tickets on my business page so that other leaders have the chance and excitement grows. So now, as a storyteller, you have homework. You are going to go home, and you're not going to post, oh, I had a great time. Oh, it was wonderful. No, you go home, and you write a very short story, but you tell how did this event make you feel? How did it change you on the inside? What transformation are you expecting? What are you going to do with it? Tell your story and develop your inner superpower for pr promotion. I want to leave you with a quote by one of my famous storytellers, and that's E.B. White, who wrote the book Charlotte's Web. And he says this, I wake up every morning determined to change the world and have one hell of a good time. It makes planning my day difficult. This business can do that. Become the storyteller. Go out and change the world and have one hell of a good time making a difference to others. I love you. I love you. I want to leave you 
with one more thing. There is no force more powerful than a woman to rise. How many of you are going to rise to the next rank in the next few weeks? Okay, repeat after me. I can. I will. Watch me. I'm Connie McDaniel. I love you guys.